Daru uh, said Jim. he loves hip hop first and foremost, and he wants to do this for the culture. Jesus Christ, yo, bro, come on, man. You guys want the smoke for real, man. Why they want to the smoke for real? Oh, my God. Tell John, John, just get the 20, get the 20, send me the 20. Y'all listen, 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 yo, Swiss, I don't know if you can hear this. Put this on it. Yo, Ja. Yeah. Yo, Ja Rule. Yo, Ja. Yo, yo, Ja, we got millions of people listening, so I don't, don't go bad. Like, Yo, John, you got to behave. That sound like a but devilish go, behave. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not, make, I'm not. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't even believe Ja Rule thought that this war with him and 50 Cent was over. For some people, the war is never going to be over no matter what's going on. We're going to show you what's going on with Ja Rule versus 50 Cent. We're also gonna cover the stimulus checks. They sent them out just the other day, and we'll see if you can get one and what tools you can use to track it. And also we've got some Marvel news, ladies and gentlemen, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I'll fill you in on all of it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. For those of you that used to be subscribed to me, turn on your notifications because I've heard from a lot of my old subscribers, they didn't even know I was back on YouTube because the notifications had been turned off. So turn them back on. Follow me on Instagram. Follow the Life Games Facebook page. And we also got a podcast going. You just saw Fat Joe talking to Beats about Ja Rule wanting to do an Instagram battle with 50. Well, 50 responded. 50 nickname is the King of Petty. And this is what he had to say in an Instagram post. 50 Cent, Stupid Fire Festival. <laughs> then he goes on to say, and he had a caption of him in a car, a drop top, rolling away. He says, who won the battle? And here's a moment of silence for the still sick and suffering. <laughs> and then 50 put this picture of Ja Rule up, man. I declare, man, that boy... Folks, no matter what you want to say about 50 Cent and Ja Rule, this was definitely a play I feel like for Ja Rule to get a little relevance because 50 is hot right now. 50 is hotter than a supernova. He's got all these franchises stemming from power and For Life is a great show. I review it. You guys should check it out that he's done with ABC. Check that out if you haven't watched it before. Did I for a minute think that 50 was going to get online and battle with him? Hell no. The only person I can think of that's more petty than 50 Cent is the person sitting in the White House right now. And y'all know that there ain't no level of petty worse than that. So, shouts out to Ja Rule for trying to make nice, I guess. And shout out for 50 Cent for basically creating his own damn Marvel Universe with all the stuff he's doing in entertainment. He's hot. And I admire what he has done as a businessman with his second career. For those of you wondering about the stimulus checks, let's move on to that. Um, stimulus money went out just yesterday on Monday, April 13th. And a lot of people are still trying to figure out who's eligible to get a check, who will get a check, how do you get a check. Check this out and then we'll come back and discuss it. Now the government is getting started on sending out the $1,200 in stimulus relief that they promised to millions of Americans. But unfortunately, many Americans won't qualify for the money. We have Sabil Marcellus uh, digging into this story for us. And Sabil, it's interesting just in terms of who this will leave out in the stimulus checks. Absolutely, Shauna. So taking a look at who is being left out, who does not get one of those $1,200 checks? And it turns out it's millions of Americans, from dependent college students to immigrants without social security numbers. Now, to break this down, number one, you are not eligible for a check if you are a dependent. For example, if you're a college student who is working part-time training to be a teacher, now because schools are closed, you likely lost that part-time job, but you do not get a check if you are claimed as a dependent by your parents. Number two, 
Second category that does not get one of those stimulus checks are those without access to social security. For example, in states like California, Americans who are retired but then become teachers lose those social security benefits. Also included in that category are immigrants who without social security numbers. The third category where you don't get one of these checks is if you recently entered the U.S. So if you're a refugee who is authorized to work in the U.S., but you did not file 2019 tax returns, then you are able to file tax returns for 2020, but it means that your check is likely going to be delayed. It's going to take a while for you to be able to get it if you even get it. Now, include, in, in terms of those who are also left out, you've also got those who are making more than $75,000 a year, but who've been impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. Also, those who owe child support and Americans with disabilities, adults who are living with their parents. Yes, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's too bad because you know, a lot of these people are relying on the check and hoping to get them. So it's interesting just how many Americans actually won't qualify for the money. I uh, think so much for bringing that to us. So that kind of gives you a highlighting of who's eligible to get a check, who's not going to get a check. And for those of you that don't have your bank account information tied to the government, you still may be getting a check. It's just going to be in the mail. And for those of you wondering, the government has come up with a plan for you to track those with their tools. As the first wave of stimulus payments hit the bank, Americans still waiting for their payment will soon be able to track when their check is due to arrive, according to the IRS. The agency expects to release an online tool on the website by the end of the week that helps people track the status of their stimulus checks. The tool will let people follow the scheduled payment date for either a direct deposit or mail check. So ladies and gentlemen, by Friday, but let's honestly say, hell, wait till next week because you know how slow the government has been in response to the coronavirus. You'll be able to go to the irs.gov website, go in there, they're gonna have a button that says tools to track your check and you can track your stimulus money and see where it's at, what it's doing, and how it's going. So for everyone out there that is in dire straits, you know, our hearts are with you. We're hoping for the best and hopefully you qualify to get some of the stimulus money and you won't be left out. But um, if you want to check, go to the IRS website Friday to be disappointed, but mo more likely wait till Monday or Tuesday to check on it to see if you'll be able to get some money. And in Marvel news, ladies and gentlemen, that's why y'all see me with this hat on that started the video. We've got a little bit more news about Guardians of the Galaxy. Vin Diesel did an interview where he mentioned something that James Gunn got hot about. Take a look at what Vin Diesel said. Thor will also, the director talked to me about how Thor will incorporate some of the Guardians of the Galaxy, which would be very interesting. Nobody knows, but maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Um, but I only have two words uh, about that character, and it is Alpha Groot. Vin Diesel was talking about Alpha Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And Alpha Groot is just, I guess, the ultimate form of Groot because Groot's species in the comics just keeps growing and growing and growing as long as he's living. And I think they're gonna show us this huge, big, monstrous Groot in the movie. And James Gunn responded by basically saying, it was a nothing burger, don't worry about it. But we know that this is gonna be in there. Guardians of the Galaxy was supposed to come out this year on July, but we know that because of coronavirus and other issues that have gone on, they've had to push it back. So it's gonna take place somewhere around the Thor 4 timeline. And I think that they're gonna be doing some edits to start that movie out to put it back in the timeline space that it should be. We now know that there's not gonna be any more fat Thor and a lot of people did not like that character. They was upset that they even made him fat in the first place. But that was just to highlight, um, you know, Thor just really being depressed about what had happened to him, everything that went down in Infinity War. And in the upcoming movie, when they do sprinkle in Thor, he's probably not gonna be a main character in Guardians 3. He's probably just gonna have a simple cameo. He won't be the fat Thor anymore. And from what I'm reading, this story is really gonna be about the backstory of Rocket Raccoon and Groot. 
And the main villain, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, is not gonna be Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock will be introduced in this movie, but I don't think he's gonna be introduced until probably the very end. The main villain that they're highlighting is gonna be the High Evolutionary. He is the person that basically created Rocket Raccoon. And if you follow the cartoon, they done a, um, a series where Rocket Raccoon had to go fight him. And I think that this would be a decent villain for them to fight because all of the Guardians movies have kind of told the backstory of each of the Guardians and why they are Guardians right now. So, you know, Guardians 2 was more about Jason's Quill's father and Guardians 1 was kind of, kind of, sort of about Gamora and her dealings with Thanos as they was introducing the characters. And so I'm excited for it, but now they're pushing this story back. We might not see Guardians until 2022 from what reports are saying. But either way, I've been a fan of both Guardians movies. And I think that what they're doing with the high evolutionary, because dude is pretty powerful, man. Um, I think it's going to be good. I can't wait to see it. And hopefully we'll be through all this coronavirus mess and we'll get back to getting these movies on the regular schedule. Leave me your comments on what you think about the way we're doing our stories now. We're taking pieces of pop culture, we're taking good news, and we're adding in Marvel. Let me know what else you're following with Marvel. Let me know how you feel about 50 Cent being petty. And are you going to get a stimulus check? Drop me all your comments in the video section below. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications, people. That's why a lot of my videos haven't been being seen because the notifications have been shut off. Turn them back on. Follow me on Instagram and check out the podcast on top of all the stuff we're doing. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.